Time to play with some clay. Well, today was spent getting that van into the garage. I had to move a lot of boxes and stuff over to the uh, storage unit. Had to go through everything and throw away stuff and keep stuff and record what I've got in the boxes. But I finally got the van in here. I can't get to the heater control over there. I have to open up the garage to go back behind my van because there's no room uh, behind the van and uh, the door and absolutely no room to walk around there. I'm going to have to uh, take care of that problem because that's that's a real problem not being able to get to that door to my saw. But it's nice to have my van inside. I'm going to, it's late in the evening right now and I don't know how much I'm going to do but I'm going to try to do a little experiment with this uh, monster clay right there and we'll see what happens it's a nice little flame coming out of there I got this at the hardware store, I think. I can't remember which. No, Family Dollar Store. Interesting. We do have a dollar store here. Probably got it there. I'm using my GoPro and my uh, Canon, which you can see right there. And uh, see how this works out. I cut down on the resolution of the uh, GoPro. I don't need it at 1080p. Uh, it just takes up too ma much memory and I'm running out of memory on my computer. So. I'm going to make a real temporary, well not temporary, but just a quickie uh, armature. I'll be right back when I get it all created here. Alright, I'm not going to show you everything I do because I've got DVDs out there that uh, show how to do it. Uh, I'm just going to get it started and I'll turn off the camera, come back and show you a little bit more. And I just don't feel like I should be sh giving you everything when People are out there paying good money for my uh, instructional DVDs. Uh, they should have an exclusive to uh, see that stuff. So, all right, I'm going to try. I've got the light all probably about six inches above the, the clay. It's soft, but it's it's stiff. It's a it's a weird feeling. Clay. It's not like JMac. It's almost plastic in its feel. And I think I can do this in stages like you do with uh, Super Sculpty. You might block in areas and then come back and add a little bit more because this clay gets really stiff when it uh, gets cold. I'll decide what to do with the uh, head when I get to it. What's really odd though is how it all warms up and it warms up beautifully at that distance uh, of six inches between the light and the uh, clay. It sticks really nice. I like that. I like the uh, reaction to your fingers. I 
All right, I'm going to come back in a few minutes after I put some clay on. You see, it, it has no smell to it either. That's another nice thing. What I've done is I've used a wooden dowel and uh, some copper wire as my armature. All right, I'm going to be right back. All right, I got to get this uh, cutting board. I'm using a bamboo cutting board, but I got to get all this old clay, this JMAC clay, off because I don't want to mix the two clays at all. So I'm going to clean the board first. I need to have some kind of clean surface. I could roll the clay on this wooden top here, but it's dirty and it's had many, many sculptures on it. And uh, I just do not mess with it. I need to get some more Ronsonol too. I use Ronsonol to clean off the board. It gets all the residue of the uh, JMAC off the, the board. Now it's just a smooth, clean board. Again. Oh man, I gotta take about a day or two to just cleaning up the studio and uh, get everything arranged. All right, I'll be back in a few. So far, I'm not not disliking the clay at all. I like kind of I like uh, the texturing that you can get when you put the clay on. I'm leaving some space here in the front of the face so that uh, I got enough room to put clay on when I get ready to do his face or her face. But uh, what I'm doing right now is just building up a, a rib cage. I'm, I'm thinking that I need to get this clay on both sides of the armature before it starts hardening up on it. And uh, like I said, I've never used this clay before, so I'm just sort of taking it one minute at a time. I put a screw down into this uh, part here just to hold it in place, because I know it's going to get real stiff at some point, and I don't want this breaking loose from the board. so. Just a little precaution there. Okay, I'll come back when I got a little more done. I've got my uh, mannequin here. This is uh, one I bought off online called uh, anatomytools.com. They ain't cheap, but they're worth having. I'm finding that uh, I'm going to need stronger wire tools if I'm going to sculpt this. Now this elliptic tool does fine and uh, I'm just shaping the rib cage a little bit or the rib cage area. Clay is reacting fine to everything so far, so I'm not going to be able to go much longer on this tonight because it's getting late. And uh, I got a couple other things I got to do before I go to bed. Anyway, I guess what the first reaction to it right now at this preliminary stage. Is monster clay is not bad. Would I want to do a huge piece? It might be interesting. Might be interesting. I think the clay is a little bit more expensive than JMAC though. JMAC is the uh, plastiline clay I currently use. I'm thinking for the same amount of JMAC, uh, it would cost me probably close to another hundred dollars for this stuff. So. Not sure. It's 
economically good, but there may be other properties about it that uh, make it worthwhile get getting, so I don't know. All right, that's as far as I'm going to go today. I know it's not far, and I know it's frustrating that I'm not going any further, but I don't work on Sunday. I take Sunday as my day of relaxation. And uh, we'll see what happens on Monday. It's got a good start. Root cage is good. The head size is about right. All right. Good night, everybody. Till next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.